uh, hey there fellow data cows you know how meta loves to talk about connecting the world well it turns out they're also really into collecting the world's data specifically yours we're talking about facebook posts instagram photos even those embarrassing comments you left on your aunt carol's cat videos back in 2009 Meta's been quietly scraping it all up to feed their ever-hungry AI algorithms. Now, Meta claims this data grab is all above board. They point to the uh, to the their deep and bo and lengthen the 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 point that and the term um, terms of service and that in this uh, that nobody reads because seriously, who has time for that? They argue that if it's public, it's fair game. But here's the thing: do we really know what we're agreeing to when we click accept? And how public is is our data really this isn't just about meta either lots of tech giants are in on the data harvesting game but meta's uh, sheer size and reach make them the elephant or maybe the zuckerberg in the room they've got billions of users worldwide creating a treasure trove of personal information that's incredibly valuable for training ai and they're using it to shape everything from the ads we see to the news we read Um, so what exactly counts as public data in Meta's book? Well, it's a bit like their dating app, confusing and potentially misleading. Anything you post publicly on Facebook or Instagram is fair game. That much is clear. But what about posts shared with a limited group of friends? Or content that's uh, technically public but buried deep in the digital archives? Meta assures us they don't collect private messages. But with all the data breaches and privacy scandals we've seen, can we really take their word for it? It's like trusting a fox to guard the hen house or a Zuckerberg to protect your privacy. The lines are blurry and that's a problem. Here's the real kicker. Uh, most of us have no idea just how much data Meta is scooping up. Have you ever tried downloading all the information Meta has on you? It's like opening Pandora's digital box, full of surprises, most of them unpleasant. And good luck figuring out exactly how they're using it all to train their AI transparency meta seems to have left that on the do not track list um, uh, now you might be thinking surely there are laws to prevent this kind of data free for all and you'd be right uh, sort of the problem is data privacy laws are like meta's dating history complicated and inconsistent in some parts of the world like the European Union um, there are at uh, this non data um, strict um, uh, regulations like GDPR that give users more control over their data uh, but in other places it's a digital wild west uh, where companies like Meta can pretty much do what they want this creates a patchwork of protection where your your rights depend on your location this inconsistency is a gift to tech giants they can exploit loopholes and play countries off against each other. It's like a global game of regulatory whack-a-mole. And guess who always seems to come out on top? Hint, it's not the users. We need international cooperation and standardized rules to ensure everyone's data is protected no matter where they live. Section 4. The high cost of free platforms, privacy, bias, and you. So why should you care about all this? After all, Facebook and Instagram are free, right? Well, as the old saying goes, if you're not paying for the product, you are the product. And in this case, the price you saw is the intense demand. See, the 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 kind of the price may way back as them. But what you boy did the head of the is a punch the ocean in outer punch the privacy but it goes beyond that the data meta collects isn't just used to target ads it's also used to train ai algorithms that are increasingly shaping our lives and these algorithms can inherit and um, amplify the biases uh, present uh, in the data they're fed think about it if an ai is trained on data that reflects existing societal biases like gender or racial stereotypes it can perpetuate those biases in its decisions. This can lead to discrimination in everything from job recommendations to loan approvals. And because these AI systems are often opaque, it's hard to know when or how this bias is happening. Section five, Meta's balancing act, innovation versus ethical responsibility. Now, to be fair, Meta isn't the only one grappling with these issues. AI development is a complex and rapidly evolving field, but as one of the most powerful tech companies in the world, Meta, has a responsibility to lead the way in ethical data practices. They need to be more transparent about what data they collect and how they use it. 
they need to give users more control over their data and allow them to opt out of having it used for AI training. And they need to invest in mitigating bias and ensuring their AI systems are fair and equitable for everyone. The future of AI depends on striking a balance between innovation and ethical responsibility. Meta and other tech giants need to realize that our data is not just fuel for their algorithms, it represents our lives, our experiences and our values. And they need to start treating it with the respect it deserves.